you know they have pie in San Francisco. Mm. Not this pie. <laughs> You're right. It's the best pie I've ever had in my life. How did you find this place? Oh, my family lived in Reno for a couple years till my dad fixed the van. <laughs> All right, so yin and yang is probably the best way to describe the relationship between Dharma and Greg, but the same could be said for how Jenna Elfman's latest hit, Fear the Walking Dead, is nothing like the classic sitcom that made her a household name. Jenna Elfman joins us live. Yay. Okay, so Jenna, I have to tell you, uh, first of all, our viewers might not even know this, but one of your first gigs was in a Depeche Mode music video, mm -hmm. Halo. <laughs> what was the, as a Depeche Mode fan, what was the cool, oh, wow, oh, so cool. What was the coolest thing about being in that video? <laughs> Well, you know, um, the director's name is Anton Corbin, and he's was like a legend um, photographer, director of U2, Depeche Mode. And so as a, you know, emerging artist, I just felt uh, it was very, I don't know, it was a big honor to be able to work with Anton and Depeche Mode and, and just sort of contribute to the their, that aesthetic creation, you know? It's pretty cool. For, I think I was like very 18, cool. maybe, in that. Yeah, and big brownie points, right? That's like Huge. forever coolness. Forever. Absolutely. What a good mm -hmm. party starter, you know what I mean? <laughs> Were you in Depeche got, Mode? She's got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, she's not. <laughs> she's got nothing else. No other gigs. Yeah, right? No other gigs. <laughs> All right, fans of Darman Greg, by the way, I, my whole family, it was the Jewish, the spiritual, we all loved you. We loved you. We loved you. We're surprised when it was not renewed for sixth season, ending the show without really a proper farewell. And I just wondered how you would have wanted this final season to end. If you had a magic wand. <laughs> wand? <laughs> yeah, don't we all wish we had that magic wand? Yeah. You know, I think it would have just been nice. <laughs> um, you know, the season, we ended our fifth season, and then we went into our hiatus. We had our big rap party, went into hiatus, and just were, like, waiting right. for the May announcements on if we got renewed or not. And and it was like, no, you didn't. And, and then it was so anticlimactic for having been a hit show yeah. that was in every country with 18 million viewers every week. So I wish I could have just sort of said, hey, you're renewed for your sixth season or at the beginning of the fifth season, if they had said this is going to be the last season. Yeah. Then you go about it. I mean, these are crew members. We've spent five years intimately working together. You just want to have some closure. Totally. So I ended up writing a letter to every crew member, just thanking them and, and, and everything, just to have some kind of symbolic closure, um, because it was a really special experience for everybody. It was a special time in our life. Elfman? I guarantee you every single crew member still has that letter. I that's do. that's amazing. That's the stuff people remember. <laughs> All right, now let's let's be real now. You were on uh, Fear the Walking Dead and it's about people fighting uh, to survive the zombie apocalypse. So tell us, what is it like being a regular person that knows that your character could be killed off really easily? <laughs> <laughs> This is true. I feel like it's no different than just being an actor and a show could get canceled at any time. It's like really all the same bucket of, you know, of stress, really. Um, but I think I was more concerned about it when I first started the show, even though I'm contractually committed to the show. Um, but then I just really leaned into the storytelling and I just put my main focus on that and, and just trusted the showrunners to, you know, do tell the story they need to tell. And I get so much joy out of playing June and all of the dynamic um, changes that my character gets to go through. And as an actor, to be able to play those changes has been so fun that I just put my main focus on that. And I'm so used to the what I said about being an actor, that you just have to not put your attention on that, you put your main attention on creativity and, and that kind of keeps you flow, flowing, you know? I, well, I wanted to ask you just quickly, like what characteristic do you think your character has that helps her survive like the best? <laughs> Well said. Well, she is a trained trauma nurse, um, so she has that ability to sort of keep herself and others alive um, in that way. But I also think she has, I mean, not to call back to Dharma, but she does have kind of good luck and good karma because she's well intended and has a lot of empathy um, and care for others. And she's her nor her north star always has been helping. Uh, and and when she can't offer help or be of service, I think that's when she starts to go into her traumas and all the things she's been through. And when she can find an avenue of applying her skills to others to help, she feels oriented. So I think that that's probably a big 
um, quality that keeps her going. Yeah, I love June. She's a great character, and you you bring so much life to her. So thank you so much, Jenna. DBL Nation, you can see Jenna thank in you. new episodes of Fear the Walking Dead Sunday nights on AMC. Thank you so much, Jenna. Thanks, You're Jenna. amazing. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll be right yeah. back.